hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss the newly released feature of may 2024 release and the feature which we are going to discuss is the changes which we have got in the matrix layout so let me jump on to the release notes so let's look at the power bi may 2024 feature summary and i'm going to give you the link of this blog into the description when you go down you will see all the features which has been released in may 2024 that include modern tooltip now by default means it is going to give you by default matrix layout line updates on object interaction updates etc what we are interested in today's videos is matrix layouts what are the new kind of layouts we have so you can click on that and go down and look at the notes we have got these new layouts and they are drawing the inspiration from the familiar pivot table in excel and we aim to build the new feature and capabilities upon stronger foundation in the may update we are introducing layouts for matrix and now you can select from compact outline tabular layouts to alter the arrangement of components in a manner akin to excel so very similar to excel so if you see the comparison which has been given on the blog so show compact outline and tabular and very very similar stuff we have here these features have been given in layout and style presets if you further go down you will see the option for repeat and we have repeat row headers which will give you the flexibility what you are going to get in excel using repeat all item labels and do not repeat so that is a toggle for that when you further go down you will see an option for blank rows it means we will be able to add the blank rows now into the matrix visual and that will give you visual appealing look especially when you want it to have little bit of space or the matrix visual which is typically compact so let's jump onto the power bi desktop and try these out so i'm here on my power bi desktop and ready to try these new features out let me add a new page for that and on this new page i'm going to add a visual and let me start by adding a matrix visual so i've added a matrix visual let me enlarge it i'm going to add item from brand on the rows category and i'm going to add the net measure from the base measures on the values let me also expand it now once i expanded it let me go to the format the format pane is available right now on the right hand side option it is not open let me click on that to open it and here we have the option layout and style presets let me click on that you have the previous option style which is default none minimal border header etc which were the styling but let's skip that as of now we are more interested in layout which is compact and if you remember in the past the compact layout is more about stabbed layout and that is where you have the option for indentation which is very similar to stabbed layout now let's go ahead and try the outline layout the outline layout you can see now it is very similar to stabbed layout switch off but the totals are on the top in this case and in this case now we have the option which we can use which is repeat row headers so if i click on that it is very similar to the table visual and this is one thing you were asking for long that we wanted to repeat the values and that option was not available and one more thing you were asking is to insert the blank rows sometime you want it optional not everywhere after your category or the top category repeats but in this case it's going to be repeating for all of them so let me open that out and now you can see the blank row now you can decide the color of the blank row if you want a different color you can have that let me press ctrl z twice to come back to the original color i can have transparency and if needed i can have border also now to give it as a better look now this will help you in getting a layout which is very similar to like balance sheets when you wanted to have that and then you can also change the width or transparency of the line as per requirement as of now i'm going to switch off the blank as well as i'm going to stop the repeat row headers because i would like to go ahead and experiment with the next layout and the layout is tabular layout in the tabular layout what's the difference from the last one the outline the difference is the total is below and again here we have repeat row headers you were asking for long microsoft has heard that and the second option is blank row again in the blank rows you can play around with the color and the border and because i previously enabled the border the same border you can see but you can switch it off if required again this would be really helpful when you're going to create a balance sheet kind of a structure 
or any other kind of a matrix visual where you need the border or you need the empty rows so this feature will enhance your matrix visual experience i would advise why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video thank you